okay. Going to flip some seaweed and see what we can find. There's a rake. thing from flipping seaweed. It looks exciting. Oh, is it broken? Oh no! That is the end of a hat pin and unfortunately it's broken, but it would have been the most beautiful little blue flower. Gosh, what a shame that is. It's beautiful and we'll still use it as a flower for the doll's house. Just a shame it's missing two petals. quite hard because there's so much seaweed. Well, since we found one of them, it's a nice, lovely, tall paste pot too. It's a really nice one. Fortunately, not sure we need it, so I will leave it under the seaweed. Nope, nothing else. bead. It's got a white heart. It's a white heart trade bead. <laughs> there you go. First thing found flipping seaweed. It's like a little berry. 
Found a white heart trade bead. Wow, Un under the seaweed? Under the seaweed. Oh my goodness. It looks like a little berry. Wow, that's incredible. It's beautiful. Oh, no. What's hidden under all this seaweed? I know. This looks like jade. I know it's not, but that's a beautiful colour. Wow! <laughs> My first seaweed find. Is that something? <laughs> Brilliant. And that's a bone toothbrush. Well, actually, a, maybe a brush. It looks a bit big for a toothbrush. See if that's got anything written on it. So a vulcanite. Oh, I think it's got something on it. I shall take that and clean it. After turning the seaweed over today, I think that's a part of a collar stud. It's a seaweed turning over day what we can find. It's interesting. Mm. No. <laughs> it's broken obviously. It might have been an ink um well. It's got crazy. I can't tell if no, I think that's just the blue is just age, but it can make a really beautiful plant, big plant pot to a doll's house. That's a two pea. Yep. <laughs> is that what I think it is? It is! It's a bead. White bead. Oh, wow. Okay. Two beads now. Could be something. Oh. Is it a wheel? It's lead. Hmm, could be a wheel. I think that is a coin, but I think it's probably modern. Yes, it's 20p. <laughs> See, that's interesting because that is just the broken top of a hexagonal like ink bottle, but it's broken so perfectly and it's sort of been smoothed down. I have to take that, it could be something useful in a craft. Like a chimney or some pizza oven. And there's another stopper. Is it a vulcanite or is it wooden? I think it's a wooden one. I do like a wooden stopper. To dry it out carefully. I can't say but it tell but it does have writing on it. Nice. Cool. 
a knob. What's it made out of? Ooh. Is it brass? That's nice. Probably have a use for that. Lovely. Matches the stones. Piece of R-A-O-B R-A-O-B pipe. <laughs> Royal and to the Louvain order the buffalo. <laughs> well, well. well, I think we've answered the question about flipping seaweed. What you find when you flip seaweed. <laughs> Obviously, there were a couple of other things, but this was the most noticeable find. <laughs> Which was Mum's amazing white heart trade bead, which is beautiful and really tiny. We've got a few of those now, haven't we? Yeah, this one's clear red on the outside. But... <laughs> <laughs> it's Christmassy, it's red. It is, it is Christmassy, it does look <laughs> like a holly berry. <laughs> but we thought we'd answer the question because lots of people say in the comments, mm. why don't you flip the seaweed? And we mm -hmm. do flip the seaweed periodically but we thought we'd just go for the whole yeah and and because the beaches we go on are usually quite big so if you flip over all the seaweed there's lots of exposed stuff that you can look over more quickly yeah it takes up time it takes up it? time flipping seaweed yes <laughs> <laughs> yes there were a couple of other things but they might be in the roundup of tomorrow's video but now after that very long and informative roundup. <laughs> we have to open today's advent from the lovely fairy acorn and careful of the to bead. Not, to not lose the bead. So, the 22nd. Wow, it's getting close now. I know. also getting close to 25 really really close we are getting really, really close really to 25,000 thank you very much for everyone that is subscribing oh <gasps> what is it <gasps> oh it's a reef it's a beautiful reef wow that That's is lovely. gorgeous look at the holly the level of detail the gold touches we've only got only two of our daughters that have front doors yours and the 1920s. Yeah, but it's almost like you could all do it with like, um, as a, you could use it as one of those too. Like a, um, centerpiece. A centerpiece wreath. Sorry, I'm this yawning. Is, <laughs> this is one of the tiny candles that we made over on, for Minimus on our other channel. We made tiny, um, use functioning, we made tiny functioning Candles, candles on, a, burn. on a nail and air gun pellet candelabra we made too. And yeah, they actually burn. So that's over on Minimus if you wanted to check it out. But yeah, that is absolutely stunning. It's so beautiful. I'd like a reef like that. It would look quite nice on the 1920s front door. Though. It would, because it's green. It would go really yeah. well. That is beautiful. that a lot. Thank you so much Fairy Acorn. Oh look, and it goes with the bead. <laughs> Should have opened it first and yeah. then presented the bead like that. <laughs> so yeah, we've only got three more days of Advent left and two more days of Madness left. It's all left the, the, the 25th on the 24th, 24th, which is, I don't know if it's bad luck to open an Advent a day oh. early, but oh well, uh -huh. we have to show them all. Yeah. We won't be uploading a film on the 25th, or a film close to the 25th, I don't think. No, it'll be the Saturday afterwards, won't it? Potentially. Yeah, because... Yeah. All... Might have a week off, we'll have to see <laughs> how busy Christmas gets. So yeah, thank you as always for everyone that likes, comments and subscribes, and of course our wonderful donors and our brilliant Patreons. So we will see you tomorrow for another Mudlark. Yeah. Hope is... I'd say it's officially Christmas now. Yeah. Hope you're having a very Merry Christmas. Or celebrating the holidays if you don't um, celebrate Christmas. 
hope you're having a lo lovely December. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Bye.